Good morning, Mrs. America here. I've been doing a little bit of re retrospective evaluation about this whole procedure of evaluating these books now that I'm reading the Brother Cat Files. I've been feeling bad because I want to keep reading the books. One, two, three, four, five. I'm, and then I stopped to think today these are quite valuable books and but there's so much I mean what does the evaluation consider this particular review today was to be about their leper of St. Giles and there are 20 characters in this book and of course we have some characters that are carried through in each book of the series, but 20 characters in a book, and they're very distinguishable characters from terminology and everything, but there are only 223 pages in this little book. And 20 characters? Wow. No wonder I can't remember all the names of each book as we go along. But one, there are a lot of fascinating things about this series. The type of, the book that you buy or that you get from the library can determine how much you can learn about that particular series. For example, I was just noticed, I, I was going to point out that this book has, yeah, has a really interesting map of Shrewsbury and the environment, the surrounding environment, so that you can look up and see what's going on in Shrewsbury. And the, the last book that I said was my favorite because I keep forgetting where to, I'm supposed to look because it has this book I really like. I only have one of this particular edition. I'd like to have all of them, but then I'd have to buy them. I don't know if you can get these from the library if you can. that They're ideal because... So there was one map in the front of that that particular edition. This one has maps and then if that's not enough you have okay you have those you have another set of maps and then in the back of the book you have if you go to buy even a used book uh, brother cad file you'll find there are a lot of different editions out there but in the back of this one it's really interesting because it has a glossary of terms with pronunciations, a glossary of terms, and then it also has the, and I was looking them up individually, and then I found out there's a glossary of terms in the back of this, a guide to Welsh pronunciations. <laughs> oh, so I don't know. I don't know. That's the reason I haven't reviewed one of the Sister Fidelma books yet, which I have been promising to re review. Sister Fidelma and Brother Cadfile are like, they're both from you know, medieval mysteries. They're both from that time. They're both, and her books are, the books about her. A male wrote her books and a female wrote, you know, because Ellis Peters wrote, cat file. Ellis Peters is her pen name. And and Peter Tremaine is his pen name that wrote the Sister Fidelmas. But they're, they're brother-sister books because they all deal with issues of that time. But they're very different because of their qualifications, their education, their status in society. And um, Sister Fidelma was in the 700s and this one's in the 1100s, 1300s. 1100. So, but they're very, very interesting. But I wanted to point out that there are just a lot of, of different, you know, different volumes out there. And a lot of people like, like these. I wish I had all one kind, but I, I looked out there. They, if you wanted the whole set of just these, you, you can, they're rare to find, but if you find them, they cost a lot because they were printed up. And this has a map in the back also, but they were printed up in um, 
they were earlier printings. But I, I don't know. I kind of, kind of like the the artwork on the front. And this one, of course, relates to his movies, his uh, videos on TV, and uh, Derek Jacoby's videos. And I, I did try to watch. The last one I tried to watch, I, I, can't, I can't watch to do a comparative like I did earlier to compare the book to the... Right away, they started leaving major, what to me were major facts in the book out. Major character developments, major plot twists. And I, I went, I, oh, I can't, I can't watch this. So I'm staying with the... Um, I, hopefully it's been long enough since I watched those videos because I think it was like 10 years ago. So I don't think that I'm affected by them anymore in my evaluation of this book. At least I don't remember. May even have been more, been longer, longer than that that I read them. But I wanted to tell you that um, there are different, different printings out there. Of course, this one's easiest to read because you can see from the, it's not large print, but it's it's got a lot more spacious. This one's a little bit more difficult, and then you've got and then this one is the the smallest the smallest print type. So it depends upon what your how your eyesight is, and that's of course someone my age very important. This is just a a general CAD file review since I'm going to be reviewing all 21 books. However, I don't have to do a report on each one of the 21 books. I might just keep reading because like I'm still a couple behind. I'll, I'll try to keep doing a little review of each two, but with 20 characters and just this book and trying to, you don't want me to just read off a list of characters, I'm sure. It's how they related to each other, their status in society and, and their status in the plot. Okay, how to review. That's an interesting question. Talk to you later. Bye.